Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. So today I thought I'd switch it up a little bit and talk about something that I collect and I love and I wanna share it with you guys, which are designer handbags. I love me a good luxury designer handbag because it just makes me feel good. It's something that I've always wanted to have in my life and so when I was able to financially purchase these bags, it just was like a milestone for me. It just kind of symbolizes each accomplishment that I have. Now, not everyone likes to invest in luxury items and that is totally fine. And if this is not your cup of tea, girl, I got many other videos on my channel, but I definitely love it and I wanted to share it with you guys. I know I've done um, a what's in my bag and you guys have seen a few of my bags here and there, but today I just wanted to talk about my most worn luxury bags and the ones that I feel like are worth the investment because I just love them and I'll go through them and talk about it each at a time but I hope you guys enjoy this video and don't mind me switching it up a little bit here on the channel definitely always leave your comments down below and let me know what you would like to see on this channel I know we talk fragrances and fragrances and fragrances but I definitely love to throw in a little bit of lifestyle a little bit of something different you know we don't want the channel to be super redundant so I hope y'all don't mind and I can't wait to chat in the comment section. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Oh, before we do, honey, subscribe. What are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, turn your post notifications on so you know every time I upload a brand new video and also follow me on my second channel. Yes, I started a new channel which is all about self-care, self-love and self-improvement. I only have one video on there but a new video is going up this week. So definitely check it out. It's definitely a passion project of mine. I've always wanted to start a channel that was solely about inner beauty and not what I talk about frequently, which is outer beauty and um, products and things that we can touch. I want to talk about feelings and all that good stuff. So if you love that style of content, then definitely follow me. I will leave the link down below and uh, would love to see you on that channel but without further ado let's talk these luxury products so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this bag over here which is my YSL college bag it's right now pretty flat because I put it away I have another bag that I'm using for the most part this winter but this was my everyday bag for a good year and a half I absolutely love the YSL college bag and I think it's worth every single penny first of all let me just say that I think when it comes to luxury goods, this is a great price point, okay? It can get really pricey, even though this is expensive, but it can definitely get very pricey, but I think that YSL hasn't um, declined in terms of the craftsmanship and the quality of their bags. And there are a ton of brands, including Chanel, that I feel like the quality just isn't the same anymore. But with YSL, I think that they really do um, pay attention to detail. Mine is super old, I've had it for uh, quite a while and so it doesn't look brand new or anything like that but I still love it and I do have a little bit of signs of wear like in this corner here there is some pulling that I need to get fixed and that's another reason why I put it away. I didn't want this to get worse. I want to get that treated and then I will pull her back out. So I have the YSL college bag. I believe this is the medium and there is a larger size than this one if I'm not mistaken. And this is very similar to their Lulu bag, but the Lulu has a little bit more of a rounder structure. This is definitely more of a square structure. What I love about this bag is that you can fit so much into this bag. I think that it is simple yet eye-catching and it can go with anything that I wear. I can dress very, very casually and it's just a vibe and I can dress slightly more dressy casual and it's still works now if I'm really glammed up I wouldn't wear this bag just because I don't find this very dressy very glam I do think this is more of a casual dressy casual style of bag and I love it for every day just because it's not doing the most it's not too flashy there's not a ton of logo all over it obviously the YSL logo is right here at the front but it's very minimal 
functional and so I love this for every day. I know that they have it in the gold hardware. I have it in the gunmetal color and um, it comes like this. You can wear it as a handbag, which looks very chic, but I normally wear this as a crossbody. The chain is actually a really great size right here. You guys can see. Again, it's that gunmetal color and I love that the top of it has this material here, which is the leather, so that the chain isn't like digging into your shoulders when you wear it or you have a lot of stuff in your bag and it's quite heavy. Um, at the back, we do have a pocket over here and it fits quite a bit of stuff. And like I said, it looks very small, but honestly, a lot of the bags that I own look small to the eye, but I can fit a ton of stuff in there. And I love that kind of bag. I don't want to wear a tiny, tiny bag where I can't fit all my stuff. So this is what it looks like inside. So there's basically three compartments in here, which is great. So you can like divide all of your items. The only thing that I will say is this will not open up all the way because there's like a stitching um, in the middle between the sides of the bag. So it opens up this way, but it won't open up that way, if that makes sense. But all in all, I think this is a gorgeous bag. You can get this, um, pre-loved on a lot of websites. Just make sure you are going to a website that is trustworthy or you are going to someone that can source a bag for you that is very trustworthy, that can provide you with authenticity with your bags because when you are investing in luxury goods, you just wanna make sure that they are real and you're not being ripped off. I mean, it happens all the time, right? So you really have to be careful with that. I shop a lot of my pre-loved bags through um, two sellers that are out here in Toronto. They are very trustworthy. I trust them completely. I've purchased two, three bags from them so far. And um, I always go to them just because I know I'm going to get something authentic. And they always provide me with all of the proof that I need. Great service. I will link them down below. If you're in Canada, I don't know if they ship internationally. Maybe they do. But I will link them down below because they have an um, Instagram page that you can browse through there and they always have a lot of inventory which is great so um, yeah this one is my college bag absolutely no regrets I love it and it will stay in my collection like I don't see myself getting rid of it whatsoever um, I forgot to mention, I'm, I'm horrible at this. <laughs> um, it is leather, so it's great, great quality. But yeah, this is my YSL college bag. And this is probably my first um, authentic uh, designer bag. And this is from Chloe. And this is a love and hate relationship right over here. I love this bag because the color is absolutely stunning. And that's what drew me to this bag. This gorgeous warm brown is just everything for fall and winter it looks gorgeous in pictures in person and i really like the details on this bag like we have the hardware over here and this little circle thing over here i love that there are different metals here like we have gold plated but we also have silver over here so there's a little bit of contrast and this bag is kind of like edgy yet classic so so that's why I love it so much and this is the strap over here it's really long you can wear it crossbody or as a shoulder bag because you can um, adjust the straps right over here normally I wear my bags crossbody because that's just how comfortable I like to be with my bags, so I wear this quite a bit. Now, this bag over here, I say it's a love and hate because you have to be careful with this one or you will get a lot of stains. As you guys can see, we have two like different materials on this bag. This portion of the bag, as well as the back, you guys can see, is all leather, which is gorgeous. And I think that the quality of the leather is amazing because it's held up really well. There aren't a ton of damage on this bag a few scratches and that's just for me from wearing it and that's the thing with me and my handbags I'm a wear it girl I am not the one that's gonna be super duper careful I am going to wear my bags and so when purchasing that a bags I keep that in mind because I don't want a bag where I feel like I have to be so careful with it that I'm scared to wear it I'm gonna wear it because that's what you bought it for you know what I'm saying so this one does have a few scratches on like the leather uh, portion over here but it's nothing too 
crazy. Uh, the inside is this like suede soft material, really pretty. And there are quite a few compartments in this bag too. There's one, two, three, oh, three compartments and then a little pocket over here. So that's what that bag looks like and you guys can see how it almost looks like three bags in one I really like the design of this one the part that I hate about this bag is this suede material on the flap as much as I love it and that's why it creates such a beautiful contrast with the leather and the hardware and the suede it gives it a really beautiful look but you have to be extremely careful with this portion of the bag because it gets damaged very very fast especially when I'm wearing jeans and I love to wear this bag with jeans because it looks so good you get a ton of um, what is this stains over here on your bag um, it rubs on your pants so it starts to kind of you know you, you can see it starts to kind of damage the bag so that's my that's my beef with this bag and you I'll give you guys a bit of a close-up like over here you guys can see how it's kind of like wearing the bag a lot i got a few stains that are really hard to remove and this is the the section that rubs onto my pants a lot don't worry about my nails they need to get done um the section that rubs onto my pants a lot and gets damaged is back here so that is um the beef that i have with this bag i love it i have contemplating selling it honestly i've had this bag for i want to say three years now and i still wear I still wear it. I think, I think it's absolutely cute and the size is really nice. Sometimes I'll put the straps inside and have it as like a handbag, which is more chic for like date nights or anything like that. But um, I have to be a little bit more careful because there's quite a bit of damage on this one. I still love her and I think it's very beautiful, but just wanted to give you guys the pros and cons. So the next one that I'm going to talk about is my baby. It's currently the one that I wear every day and I am obsessed with this bag like literally obsessed with it well my last two I'm obsessed with though both of them and this is my Louis Vuitton pochette Matisse hopefully I am pronouncing that correctly I love this bag and this one has a special place in my heart as well as the last one I'm going to talk about because this was a bag that I had wanted for at least five years and i really could not afford something like this and i had it on my vision board and um when i finally reached a point in my life where financially i was doing really well i got this bag and it felt so good because it really did just like symbolize that I had accomplished so many goals and so much change in my life, positive changes, uh, financially, emotionally, just growth overall. This is what this bag symbolizes to me and that's why I love it so much. Um, yes, it's a material thing, it's a designer thing, but to me, anytime I hit a milestone, I accomplish a big goal, I like to treat myself and I think it's important that every person does that, really reward yourself when you accomplish a goal because it just makes you feel good and it validates the hard work that you put into something so I like to splurge a little bit on a handbag and this was one of those rewards for me and I absolutely love it now let's talk about the bag itself so this is from Louis Vuitton I think that this is very classic I don't see this bag going out of style now they have this in all black they also have it in a two-tone type of thing but I really like this one the black one is beautiful too but I really like this one over here this beautiful deep chocolate brown with the beige tone that contrast is really beautiful and I think that this is one of those up there with like a Chanel classic flap where it just doesn't go out of style you can wear this in so many different ways it just looks very classic very chic to me and i love the design so much yes it's a walking louis vuitton promotion because the logo is all over it but i think it's done really tastefully it's it's kind of like mildly done you know what i mean maybe that's just me but i think it's just mildly done i love the shape of the bag also 
I think that it just goes with my personality and the way that I dress. I'm very much that girl that is, uh, you know, casual, dressy casual. Like I love a good pair of jeans with a nice like tank top or shirt underneath and a blazer. That is my style. If I could dress like that all the time, I will. And so I just find this goes really well with that kind of style. There is a lot of space in here. Let me tell you that this bag looks small, but there is a lot of space behind. We have the zipper. So we have a little compartment back here that I have something in. Um, we have this long strap over here. Again, you can wear this crossbody. You can take these off and just wear it as a handbag. I wear it as crossbody for the most part. This part here does not come off. I know some bags it comes off, but this one doesn't come off and I don't mind it at all. I think it looks really nice um, in terms of contrasting with the color of the bag. And to open this bag, you have to push down this part over here. There's like two little dials almost and you have to push it and then you can open the bag. So I like that because it secures my bag when I close it. It's not going to just be opening on its own. And um, we got, let me just take this one out. I went to Starbucks earlier. Um, we got a lot of stuff in here. We got a lot of stuff. So in here we have two compartments, two compartments and then a little pocket at the back over here. And again, I fit so much in here. I try to clean up a little bit, but I have my little this is something that I got in a PR package, but I put my receipts in here. I got a bunch of lip balms, hand cream, my charger. I have my hair elastic. We got some, some lip gloss in here, hair elastic again, a bunch of stuff, and there's still quite a bit of space. So really like it. And I find that the quality is pretty amazing. I wear this every day and I don't see any signs of wear. There's no scratches. It's easy to clean. So this is definitely something that I would absolutely recommend if you wanted to treat yourself, if you wanted to splurge and you were thinking of this one, absolutely. So the very last bag that I have is another one that's very special to me because I actually treated myself when I reached a certain milestone in my career and I absolutely love this bag. It's very, very beautiful and it's one that I am a little bit more careful with, I'm not gonna lie. And this is my Chanel Diana bag. I have it in this small, and I am obsessed. First of all, if you are into Chanel bags, vintage is the way to go for me. Like I love the vintage Chanel bags over the newer ones that they're coming out with. The quality is night and day for me. Um, just the craftsmanship of the vintage ones is beautiful. Vintage bags used to be handmade. The newer ones are pretty much mass produced in a factory. So it's like totally different quality. So if I can get my hands on a vintage Chanel, I would go that route rather than the newer ones. I mean, the new ones, they do have some really beautiful styles, but vintage ones are stunning, not only because of the quality, but also they used to wear use real 24 karat gold on their hardware. And now it's gold plated in case you didn't know. Yeah, they changed that up, which is crazy because Chanel prices go up every year. So the fact that they went from real gold to gold plated is insane to me. But let's talk about this one over here. So this is the Diana and this bag was actually originally created for Princess Diana, I believe in the 90s or 80s. Um, and this became really, really popular. She wore this everywhere and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. This is definitely my like very elegant bag that I wear like for date nights. If I'm going to an event, I want to like, you know, give off a little bit of an elegant impression. This is the baby that I will pull out. Now, mind you, mine is vintage. It's pre-loved, so it's not going to look brand new. I do have signs of that, which is you can see like some of the creasing on the bag. Um, and that's the only thing that I really see in terms of like signs of wear. We do have some little scratches on the hardware, but it's fine. I actually like the vintage Chanel bags and some of the Louis Vuitton vintages too, because it has a little bit of wear and I, I like that look. I think it looks really, really gorgeous. So I don't mind that at all. So this bag is very much an 
special occasion bag for me. Like I don't wear this on a daily basis and I take care of it really well. I mean, this is a vintage one, so you want to take care of it well. The resale value of this is incredible. So for anyone who's interested in that aspect, you can resell this really fast, especially this size here, which is the small, you can resell it really fast. So in order to open this one, you turn this little section over here and then I have it stuffed with some fabric, but you do have the beautiful, let me take this out actually. You do have the beautiful um, maroon kind of tone inside here, just like the classic flap, I believe. This is the strap and it is 24 karat gold, which I love as long, uh, as well as the hardware over here and on this side over here. So the only thing with this bag, I cannot wear it crossbody, which is a good thing because it prevents me from wearing this lovely bag crossbody and making it, making it look a little bit more chic by wearing it as a shoulder bag. With this bag, you only really have one compartment and then a little pocket over here, which is pretty, pretty tight. So this is definitely, I wouldn't consider this an everyday bag by all means. Um, like I said, I wear this as a shoulder bag because this is the only way that I can wear it. I mean, I can crisscross this and wear it as a handbag also, like tuck this in and wear it as a handbag, which is nice and chic too. But for the most part, it is a shoulder bag and I just, I love the detail on it. Like I love the pattern, how simple it is, this beautiful black tone. Everything about this bag is a wow, wow, wow. And um, this is a bag that I first looked at beginning of last year, I believe. And then I put it on my vision board in January and a couple of months later, I had it in my hand. So it's crazy how how things work, but I love it so much. Definitely recommend, especially with Chanel bags, you're guaranteed that you are going to make your money back and more because this resale value is always amazing. Not all of them, like in terms of like the limited edition ones, you wanna be careful with that. But if you're buying the classic Chanel's, you can definitely make your money back and more if you keep it for a couple of years and then resell it. It always happens with the classic bag, um, the classic flap, the double flap as well as the boy bag you can pretty much uh, get your money back but yeah I love this one and I definitely have my eye on a vintage classic flap like I want the vintage one not the newer ones because they just look absolutely gorgeous and I actually like when the the what do you call this I'm not an expert in these bags but when this stuff here isn't as puffy so that's why I like the vintage ones they're a little bit more flat I think they just look a little better than the puffy ones. It looks a little bit more elegant to me, but yeah, this is my beautiful Chanel Diana bag. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and saw something new and cool today. Again, I wanted to switch it up and do something a little different, and I think I will experiment that way on this channel. So guys, that is the end of today's video. It's editing Karina here. Unfortunately, my camera cut me off while I was saying goodbye and I didn't realize until I sat down to edit, but thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed something a little different. Definitely leave your comments down below. I can't wait to chat with y'all. Let me know what you wanna see on this channel aside from perfume and I hope y'all are having a fantastic day.